Good morning everyone, welcome to my day. Now today's video is being recorded in its entirety with the Nikon 1J4. Now I did an unboxing and first look at this camera, it went up on the channel this morning. If you haven't seen that video, there is a link to it in this video's description. Now as always with my camera test videos, I'd like to give you a look at what's on my desk. It gives me a chance to show you some close-ups and this is my Invicta watch and the camera lens, so the front of the lens on the Nikon 1J4 is round about three to four centimeters away from the watch face. Looks pretty good. I'm quite pleased with how that looks in the screen on the J4, which is very clear indeed. It's a really nice screen on this camera. So we've got Mac format here. This was my sort of week reading for this particular week. And then we've got a couple of Pebble watches, the original Pebble and the Pebble Steel video coming up very soon on the channel about that. My Apple Airport time capsule tilt view charger over the back there in red. Another Nikon One camera, the S2, which will be on the channel very soon as well. And then we've got my Olympus OMD EM1. A little note to myself here about the GH4. The audio has been sounding a little bit hot on it, so I'm going to just try tweaking that audio level down a little bit. We've got my MacBook Pro with Retina display and this little figure over here, little bobblehead. How cool is that? This was in a recent unboxing and it focuses really quickly, the J4. I don't know if you noticed that. If we go a little bit further away, and it pulls into focus nice and quickly and then we're going nice and close and quick. And again, that phase detect autofocus works really well. Then let's have a look at the colours on some of the canvases. This is my Chihuahua canvas, looks really good, nice amount of detail being picked up. If it comes out, if the video actually uh, comes out as good as it's looking on this pin sharp screen, it's going to be really good performance indeed. And then let's have a look at the colours up here on the Simpsons canvas. Again, looking very, very good indeed. Nice colours, the yellow nice and vivid and Marge's hair of course, that really nice colour. So it's looking like a good performance from the Nikon 1J4. So just to let you know, that mini desk tour was actually recorded with one overhead light and one studio light on. The rest of the video throughout the day won't have any studio lighting, so it'll give you a chance to see how the Nikon 1J4 performs in different lighting conditions. So I've just been outside with Milo. It is pouring with rain and the sun has almost completely disappeared. It's very, very overcast and it's quite dark and dingy at the moment, so I thought I'd have a nice cup of tea to warm me up. Hello Mr Milo, what are you doing? Hmm? You got your monkey over there? Is that your monkey? Oh, you've been a very good boy today. Is that because it's raining outside? Hmm? So these are certainly stacking up. I've got four 6 terabyte Western Digital Red NAS drives here. I think it's time to start preparing for another storage video. Not a lot has changed in the editing room on the Geek Shelf, but I thought this was a good opportunity to see how this camera performs in very poor lighting conditions. So it's just coming up to late evening and I'm getting ready to sit down and watch The Apprentice. Absolutely love it. It's one of my favourite programmes on television. And I really like it as it progresses all the way through because you can see how some of the people actually sort of grow and their performance actually increases as well and a lot of the noise goes away you know they get much better at the tasks as the series progresses but anyway i haven't managed to take the nikon 1j4 which i'm recording this with outdoors because it's been raining all day that's the trouble with doing these camera tests at this time of year and i haven't even managed to review any of the footage back because i believe in uploading this in its unedited form, okay, I'll chop all of the various segments together, but I won't alter any of the video quality or do any colour grading, I won't alter any of the sound quality either, and 
I just think it's a really fair way of actually judging how a camera performs. And I'll let you decide, as always, in the comments section below. Let me know what you think of both the video and the audio quality. All of the settings were left to automatic. So all of the audio levels, everything, all automatic, just to see how this camera performs. And for the most part, I'm looking at it now, it's very well built. I do like it. I think it's even got a metal body to it as well. It doesn't feel plastic. I'm sure it's a metal body coated in white gloss sort of finish. Really very nice indeed. And I'm going to get to grips with it over the next couple of weeks and actually take some photos with it. It's got 20 frames per second continuous shooting mode with autofocus or full autofocus, something like that. And it's got 60 frames per second high speed mode. And I believe that both of those modes are still at full resolution which is absolutely amazing, even if the 60 frames per second isn't and the 20 frames per second is, that is a really good achievement. I've also noticed whilst I was using this when I was on the other side of the camera, that the phase detect autofocus really does help. It seems to be very quick at acquiring focus. When I was doing the sort of mini desk tour over in that area there, it was really very, very responsive. So good little camera, the Nikon One J4. So I've thoroughly enjoyed my day. I hope you've enjoyed your day too. Thank you very much for watching this video. Hit that like button, leave me some comments about the video and audio quality, and I'll see you all in the next one.